Resident Evil 5. Uh, Did you see that gun, by the way? Um, Are yes. you interested in that? I can't remember if it's um, decent or not. I think it's a. It's not like a fully automatic one. It's like it's like yeah. somewhere in between. As, f- my... as far as I remember, the one you have is like the, the creme. As good as you'd want it to be. I mean, is it a, what? If we pick it up, can we sell it? Maybe. Because in which um, case, I will get rid of my flash grenades. Cool. I do not need them. And I'll pick up this gun. Yeah. Excellent. Because at least that's 40 extra bullets if I do run out of my AK. So really, I've just picked up 40 bullets. Uh, let's pull this lever. Or lever. Yeah. Do you say lever or lever? I say lever because I'm British. And speaking of mispronunciations, something uh, I only discovered the other day. And or Mr. That, pronunciations. Or, or Mr. Pronunciations. Um, and it is, again, an American versus English thing. Yeah. But, you know, I like to think, while I don't speak no good, um, I, I generally go for the English saying of things rather than American. Uh, but I've been pronouncing schedule as schedule all my life. Oh, yeah. And the proper, correct British pronunciation is schedule. So now I make a very, very deliberate effort. Because I do find myself saying that word a fair bit. You know, yeah, it's kind well, of it's... one of those like office jargon words that yeah. you know, are we on schedule? But I would have always gone schedule. Missiles. And it's you know, now... it's like lieutenant versus lieutenant. So Lu- Lucy's, uh, Lucy, Bindi's sister Lucy used to work at uh, the BBC and she was working on eggheads and one of the guys on there, like the, the um, regular panellists, had a go at her about that once. He was like, he was like you're, you're not an American. <laughs> because she said schedule. Yeah. <laughs> you're not an American. Guy. Yeah. We thought it was fun to berate a, <laughs> you know, a young, a young BBC employer for not yeah. speaking the Queen's English. But fortunately, nobody in my life has berated me as such. But, well, uh, it's not really a big deal, is it? Like, it's just words, isn't it? Yeah, that, I, I, I'm sure. Like, lots of people have their own particular bugbears about words that bother them, but I don't think that's a big one personally. For me, the one that bothers me more because it's more commonly said incorrectly than correctly is etc. Etc. Et cetera. Sexy terror. That's the one. That, 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 that TV channel we found that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, crab monster, crab monster. Speaking of sexy monster. terror. Uh, <laughs> does it get any sexier than this? Uh, <laughs> my screen is just full of mucus from whatever this beast <laughs> is. It's... Oh my God, it's still alive. I'm just shooting it in the face. How is it still alive? God, that was terrifying. <laughs> I've just completely emptied all my <laughs> ammo into him. Oh, good thing I picked up this other gun. I forgot they do that blur effect Ooh. thing. Power stone. That's actually quite cool. Like, that's that feels quite original. Yeah. But again, they had that in Resident Evil 4 where there's other flying weird cricket creatures would spew crap on you and your screen would go all blurry. Oh, yeah, it did. It was a bit different, though, because they were just invisible. Kind of. Whereas this is like... But they also dropped, like, power gems, which is exactly what I just picked up from that, so... <laughs> Delicious. Uh, i got, I got to start bragging. Come on, I, I'm, I'm um, enjoying this game. I need to enjoy it for the... Uh, well, you got, I mean, you, I, I no one's going to complain is. about... Um, them dropping gems. <laughs> Stop moving in my in my cutscene. <laughs> uh, you're on your own. I don't kill anything unless it drops gems. Uh, oh 
God, no, I'm so going to get caught by a box, aren't I? No, no, oh God, <laughs> oh God, no, no, I'm too big to get past the box, Robin, help, help. <laughs> oh God. God, Chris is, no, I can't make it, <laughs> I'm too fat. This isn't even one of the ones where you just pull a lever to make it stop, I don't think. Or so is I, I have to get through. Uh, actually, no, here's one, here we go. Stop it, stop it, for the love of God, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank God. Woo. Uh, where am I going? Down here? Oh, don't, you dare, don't you dare pull it now. <laughs> right. Where am I going? Up towards me. Oh, uh, up here. I know, but I got, uh, I got traumatised by getting my shoulders stuck <laughs> on the box. <laughs> I bet that looks so stupid. You just come slenderly went past <laughs> those big old chunky meats McGee here. <laughs> Uh, he's, like, he's as wide as a four car that's the drag. carriageway it's it, he's uh, he's just a big meaty cube oh uh, what was the there was a, a phrase i heard today um so i'm i'm finally working my way through um uh the tv show friends oh yeah because um, uh you know i've it's 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 so it's it's so popular and it's so iconic. But yeah, there's there's lots of things uh, I know from the show. Yeah. Ooh, flame rounds! I'll take those. Um, and I've you know I've seen a whole variety of episodes over a whole host of different seasons, but I've never like sat down and tried to watch it start to finish. Yeah, um, yeah. And actually, uh, like seeing the character arcs and stuff. Yeah. And. Um, I started doing that and really enjoying it. And there was a, a phrase I heard the other day um, uh, when they're like they're they're meeting the super of the of the superintendent of the the building or whatever, and he, he wants to get dance lessons with Joey. He's talking about how like oh he'll never amount to anything in life, and he should just like you know listen to what his mum said. And there was something about like you know. Oh, she said, "I'm just a sack of potato with a sack of potatoes with arms," and that really <laughs> stuck with me. And the idea of describing something like, oh, it's as big as a sack of potato with arms uh, is, is really amusing. Yeah, it's not bad. Because I, I, I now want to, I want to a giant sack of potatoes that just has like you know two plastic like uh, action man arms just like stuck on the sides. <laughs> Like, you know, like the weird uh, toys that Sid has in the first Toy Story. It's like one of those. <laughs> Except I don't know why a kid's toy would be a sack of potatoes. The thing that makes me think of is, um, I mean, this isn't a very good story because it it's, it's display, displays what a bad person I am. But when I was in, um, <laughs> when I was in drama school, there was a, a girl in one of my dance classes, in my tap class, who uh, I would like... I... She, okay. She, <laughs> not, are you, are you throwing, throwing potatoes at her? Not a great dancer and didn't like it. So uh, I, I would describe her dancing at the time as like a pillow running in slow motion. <laughs> what? I mean, great, great, great analogy. I feel like that description accurately depicts what was happening. <laughs> a pillow in slow motion. What kind of pillow? Can like I mean, like a know, really like duck feathers or like a... yeah, like a really like downy. Overstuffed goose feather pillow. You know when it like um, you know when you hold it up at one end and, and it flops, it, like sinks to the bottom. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. I'll with you now, then. Yeah. It's like you know if somebody was gonna try and do tap dancing while also in a sack race <laughs> with arms on the tap because it used to be a potato sack. Yes. Yeah. Oh God. So what we what are we doing? Yeah, kill it. This is the, the, the wiggle monster. Uh, this is one of those 
like it doesn't like fire. Is this the thing that we had to put in the the, the, the chamber? Yes, fire chamber, you say. Yes, <laughs> and we shall speak no. Oh shit! We shall speak no more. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we've always been calling it. So we need to get it onto... Where's... How do we set off the fire? There's... Here's a fire. I have to wait for the tank to refill. Is that it? Oh, so I'm, I'm just human bait then. I guess. What should I say? Potato bait? <laughs> yeah, it shot off its arm. What are you going to do? Why is that... Why are potatoes... Oh God, where's it gone? It's right here with me. Um, it knows. Why are potatoes such a, a like comedy go-to vegetable? I don't know. It's because they're like oh flamethrower. Oh, there we go. Um, I don't know. I guess it's because they're like clumpy and like uneven and misshapen and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Generally speaking, you have to. Um... They're not the most elegant. Of vegetables. No, of, of, of the root vegetables. <laughs> and, and you know, they're quite... Um, uh, well, important question then. Which is the most elegant root vegetable? Ooh. Um, the noble mm. parsnip? No, you get quite a lot of misshapen... I mean, the whole thing about root vegetables is, you know, they are quite naturally uneven anyway. Yeah. Do you know there's... Um, like a radishes are quite... Radish, I think, would be, yeah. But is a radish a root vegetable? Yeah, it's like a bulb thing, isn't it? I'll take your word on that. Um, I think so. Because I can't remember which supermarket does it, but a supermarket deliberately has a range of... Um... Sorry, I'm not really doing anything. Oh, yeah, I'm just watching you fight. <laughs> Um, oh shit! I need to refill the fire. How do we refill it? I put it back in its stand thing. Oh okay. You can take it next time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've I've got this. Can I do damage to him like this? Yeah. Is that going to chip away at his health? Uh, there you go. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Oh no. Ah. He's no. got weak spots though. Oh. So is that it? The fire brings out the weak spots? Yes, I think so. Then have some fire! Okay, the flamethrower is recharged. Yeah, fire! There we go. Weak spots, weak spots. To that if you want it. Sorry, uh, let me try and do that again. Weak spots. Yeah, suck it. Uh, yeah, I can't remember which um, supermarket it is, but um, a supermarket um, deliberately sells "quote unquote" ugly vegetables because they're like they're still right. good. Yeah, you know, they're you know they're uh, they're, well, they're misshapen, but you know, chuck them all into a stew, and you know, uh, what's the difference? Yeah, That's but that does imply that generally root vegetables are by their nature not very even. Yeah. Not like those sexy bananas. Oh, bananas. Not that they're a vegetable, but you know, apples and pears or whatever the saying is. <laughs> apples and pears. Fun. Apples Ooh. and pears. Yeah. So why isn't he showing his weak spots? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just toasting things. Uh, yeah, I don't know really I Am I doing it wrong? No, I think you're doing it right. I'm just slowly killing him. It's just hard to know where to hit it. I think it probably just takes a load of damage. It's probably just that. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me, right? <clears throat> Look at all this. <laughs> I'm just running around picking things up. <laughs> Ooh, machine gun ammo. I'm, I've never been much of a fan of the sort of damage sponge style of enemy design, particularly bosses. Like, yeah, I'd much rather something was harder to hit um, than having. There we go. Just loads of health. 
And so I'll do that again. That does get the weak spots out. There we go. And again. Mm, um, boom. And Mama said never play with fire. But Mama was wrong. Ah. Oh man, I've used all my magnum things. It's hard to even know if it's made a difference. Uh, do you want to go and get the flamethrower? Yes, I do. Has it? It's recharged. That was, I was going to pick up a first aid spray. We should probably use that at some point. Yeah. Well, you massively need it. Ah! Oh, yeah. Go away from me. I'm too sexy to die. Hey, ya! Uh... That's the thing. That's not making the weak spots come out when you set them on fire that way. It's, it's only not, my... I'm not even sure if it's doing anything. I did it. He's behind you. Ah! <laughs> what is this? A pantomime? Who's behind you? I, yes, my lord. I hated pantomimes as a child. We used to have to go every year just after Christmas. Yeah, same. And the only reason I tolerated it was because. It meant going to see, going with some like family friends, and that meant, you know, potentially another like present. Yeah, <laughs> that was the actually the only reason I tolerated <laughs> going to the pantomime. <laughs> and occasionally there'd be quite quite a cool present, like a Lego or something. Isn't wow. that isn't that weird though? How there are just things like that you deal with as a child that are like the reason you're doing them is because somebody thinks that you will enjoy it. Yeah. But you're just tolerating. <laughs> I'm being very tolerant uh, behind you. Uh... Right, fire again. Why is this take? I feel like this is taking a really long time. I felt when we were doing the, the other things, that was... I've gotten through so much ammo. I feel like when I was doing the grenades and the grenade launcher, the weak spots came out and we killed three or four of them. Yeah. Whereas that now just feels like you're holding them in place, but I don't know why. See, yeah, I'm just doing this. He's flailing around. Oh. Okay, yeah. it was, I guess it was actually damaging. But very, very slow. I mean... <laughs> Not that that was the most taxing part, but you're right, like, eventually you just reach a point where you're going, oh, we have run out of ammo. Yeah. Oh, by the way, first... Oh my god! I got... Boo! How many people did I kill? Don't know. Well, look, I can see. It says, it says I killed 45, and you killed 19. How? Slacking. You are How slacking, diamond. Burning, like, hundreds worms off Mr. Wiggle there doesn't count. <laughs> okay, you know what, though? Do it's what? I'm, <laughs> I've been using exclusively a handgun. <laughs> well, you should have got a better handgun. Yeah, look how much ammo you've had for it. <laughs> <laughs> Accuracy, not great. <laughs> 